Buddy Cab Jet here from Thailand Mailand. It's that dreaded time of the year again. Time to renew my retirement visa. Here in Thailand uh, you need to renew it every 12 months and to add insult to injury you have to make a 90 day report to show them where you are living even if you haven't moved since your last 90 day report. Sometimes I think it would be easier if they just strapped an ankle monitor onto your leg when you flew into Bangkok <laughs> to come here to retire. I've lived and worked in 10 countries over the years, all of them legally, with proper visas. And I must say that Thailand is the country that makes me jump through more hoops to do so. I moved from the UK to Australia in 1974 and I got a permanent residence visa. The visa's for life unless you leave Australia for more than five years without re-entering the country in that five year time frame. Many countries offer easy visas for retirees as they know that the majority of retirees contribute to their country, spend all their money that they get on their pensions in their country and don't cause them any trouble. Unfortunately, Thailand isn't one of them. Look, I'm not complaining. Well, I suppose I am. But it's still worth all the hoop jumping and running around just to be able to live here. So first stop today is a trip to immigration to find out what I'll need to produce to renew my visa. Because often the rules change over the years since my previous visa. Then I'm going to take you with me to show you what you'll need to renew your retirement visa if ever you decide to come to live here. offices one here in uh, Blueport and the other one is uh, way out of town it's about a 15 minute drive out of town so this is the immigration office you have to come to if you want to renew your tourist visa or you want to um, do your 90 day report just your smaller visas um, it's not open as yet, it looks like it uh, opens in about 5 or 10 minutes so I'll just hang around, there's a small queue there but I'm not doing much today, I'm just getting information and then tomorrow I'll go to the big immigration office outside of town and uh, apply for my re uh, renewal of my retirement visa Well as usual, uh, confusion reigns, uh, I waited ages and uh, really didn't get anywhere that she gave me the TM7 form and I said oh what else do I need do I need a medical do I need um, you know a letter for my bank uh, do you have a list and she said you have to go to the head office to get that so I'd have to drive all the way a uh, 20 minute drive out of town just to get the list of what I need she did say to um, just uh, look on the internet but I did that part. I went uh, to the immigration website and I uh, looked at what I need uh, to renew my retirement visa. Number one on the list was um, I have to prove where I'm living, uh, a lease from a condo or house of where I'm staying. Unfortunately I'm not staying in a condo or a house, I'm staying in a hotel. I'm hoping that they will accept that, that I'm staying in a hotel. I can't see any reason why they wouldn't. Uh, they did for my 90 day report so they should do for the, the visa as well. So what I've done, I've gone to the hotel reception and they've printed out a printout for me saying that uh, I'm staying here and I've booked uh, for five more days. But if you're staying in a condo or a house, you'll need to get your lease and take your lease with you or a photocopy of the lease uh, because they'll want to keep that and uh, you need to produce that uh, to prove where you're living. So second on my list, I've got to get um, a photocopy of every page of my passport as well as a photocopy of um, a Google map showing the hotel 
that I'm staying in or in your case if it's a condo or a house showing the address of the house or condo that you're staying in so I'm gonna go in this little photocopying shop and get them done so I just got all my uh, photocopies done and you've got to make sure that uh, you sign all the passport pages as well I got my uh, map with the Wahim terminal there so that's the uh, the second uh, part of the problem over I'm gonna head uh, to Market Village now to my bank so number three on my list of things to do which is probably the most important one uh, was to get a letter from my bank saying how much I have in the account I have to show that I have 800,000 baht in the account and it has to be in the account for at least three months another way you can do it is you can show that you have an income of 65,000 baht every month and uh, it's going in the bank every month you have to show that it's gone in every month for the last 12 months so that's another way of doing it if you uh, haven't got the funds to put a, a lump sum the problem with putting a lump sum in is hardly any interest on it and it just sits there but I, that's the way I do it I prefer to do it I put 900,000 I keep it there just in case there's a change of rule and they up, up it that you need more so I just keep 900,000 about there all the time so that's what I had to get this little letter here and uh, hopefully that will uh, make them happy at immigration Right, number four on my list, uh, you're going to need some passport photos. I've gone to this camera shop here in uh, Market Village. Uh, I always come here to get them done. And you can tell them what you're uh, getting done. You want them for a visa because they do sometimes come in different sizes. So just tell them that you want it for a visa if you go into a camera shop. Now when I went to the Thai Department of Immigration website, there was no mention of a medical. So I'm not going to get a medical. Uh, last year uh, I was in uh, Koh Samui, I was living there and uh, it's very hard to do a uh, retirement visa there. Uh, it, it shouldn't vary from office to office or uh, from area to area but unfortunately it does. Uh, I've always found uh, Wahin to be um, a lot easier than uh, Koh Samui. Um, Koh Samui they uh, ask for a lot more things. As I say, you'd think everything would be standard. It's, uh, it's a visa for the country. It's not a visa for Koh Samui or a visa for Wahin. It's a visa for uh, Thailand. But they do vary. So be, be aware, depending on where you go to get your visa done. But yeah, last year in um, Samui, they, I, it took me three days because they kept asking for different things. Every time I went, I'd put my form in and then they said, where's this? And I'd say, well, it's, you didn't ask for it. Well, no, we need it. And I'd have to go back and, and that was the thing with the medical. Uh, they asked me for a medical and I said, oh, it's not on the, uh, your website. No, we need a medical. So I had to go and get a medical. And as I say, it took me three days. But I hope in that uh, tomorrow, uh, now I've got all the documents I need, uh, that they're not gonna ask for a medical. Also last year, um, I was very nervous because at the time there was, uh, the government had announced that uh, they were going to make it mandatory to have health insurance and uh, you know me being uh, over 70 um, health insurance costs are astronomical uh, I couldn't afford it if I had to I, if they bring that rule out I'll probably have to go and live somewhere else because I couldn't afford to pay that on a monthly basis uh, every month um, and I'm very fit and healthy I see it as a waste of money for me to have health insurance uh, I'd rather pay if I get sick I'd rather keep the money save it up every month and if I need hospital treatment pay for it when I go in hospital not through insurance uh, but yeah that was what last year was uh, it was said that they were going to bring that in and I was uh, very nervous when I went there that they were going to ask for it um, but they didn't and there's been no mention of it since and you'll find that quite often in Thailand they do say things and you think oh this is going to happen and it doesn't uh, sometimes it does uh, but this time it didn't and there's been no mention since so that's another thing tomorrow I'm hoping that when I get there they're not going to say oh where's your uh, health insurance uh, and if they do say that well I'm going to have to go into panic mode because uh, I can't afford to, to pay uh, uh, a monthly premium uh, over the 12 months every year of my life what 
So this is Wahin Immigration, about 20 minutes outside of uh, Wahin Central. Um, they put it out here, it's a long way to go. Uh, it's okay for me, I'm, I've got a motorbike, I can be here in 20 minutes and uh, it doesn't put me out that much. But there's many expats who are uh, in, in wheelchairs or uh, find it hard to get around, so it's a very long haul out here for them especially if they come here and then they're told they've got to get some more paperwork and they've got to go back again and then get the paperwork and then come back the next day or that afternoon i think it's a way for the thai government to sort of hold a little bit of power make us jump through some hoops uh, by putting it this far out i don't know why they just can't have one big uh, immigration department in the middle of blueport so that everyone can just get there quite easily uh, but it, I think they like us to jump through hoops because Thai people don't uh, use immigration. It's people like myself and Myanmar, uh, Lao and Cambodian workers who come over here to, to find work. Uh, it's us who have to travel all this way out. They're open uh, from 8.30 till 12 and then they take an hour's break for lunch. And then at one o'clock they come back and open till four. So um, keep that in mind if you're driving out here, don't come between 12 and 1 or don't come at 11.30 even because they'll be closing up when they're halfway through your application. Well that wasn't a good start, um, I was in there two minutes and uh, I got my passbook updated on the 8th of November, today's the 11th of November. I need to go back to the bank and get my uh, uh, book updated to today so they can see there's 800,000 in there today. Uh, probably thinking that I had 800,000 in there a few days ago and I've withdrawn it. Uh, so my mistake, uh, but I've got to drive 20 minutes back to town, uh, go to the bank and then get them to update my passbook and then drive back. And that's what I'm saying to you, it's not an easy process. There's so many little niggly things uh, which really don't mean a lot, uh, um, but it's what you have to do. And uh, to live in this country, I've got to live by their rules. updated my passbook like he asked me to. Now he's told me to go back to the bank and get photocopies of the last 12 months of transactions because my passbook has only got 
transactions for the past four months because I got a new passbook a little while ago. So another 40 minute round trip drive back to my bank in Wahin. I told you that they liked us to jump through hoops. desk first and uh, this guy here he checks all your paperwork make sure it's all in order so he knows I've got everything now so I can go straight upstairs to the main office I hope he's got everything in that he needs now because I've had to drive here three times in the last couple of hours Well, it was an effort, but I got my 12 month retirement visa. I had to go back to my bank in Wahin twice. So, all in all, three trips to immigration, a 40 minutes a round trip. So, around about two hours going back and forward. He wasn't too impressed with the letter from my hotel that I had, uh, saying that I'd only booked for five more days, and he went to show it to his supervisor. And I thought he was going to have a problem with it, but when he came back it was okay. Unlike Kosamui, they didn't ask me for a medical certificate. And it was with great relief uh, that they didn't ask me for a health insurance policy. So it's still not mandatory to get a health insurance certificate if you are applying from within Thailand. I believe that if you are applying from uh, your own country to the embassy that they do require you to have a health insurance. That's it from me for another year for my immigration visa. Always makes me feel good when I've got that. I don't have to worry for another year. I always sigh a big sigh of relief when he puts the official stamp into my passport. If you haven't already done so, please push the subscribe button. If you're thinking of retiring or living in Thailand, please take a look at my book, The Retire in Thailand Handbook, the first six months. Find it on Amazon. It's crammed full of information to help you tiptoe the logistics of making Thailand your home in retirement. Thanks a lot for watching my channel. So until next time, stay safe, keep smiling, and I'll see you in the next video. Cheers for now.